The following champion versus champion contest is a steel cage match and is for the WCW United States and the ECW World Television Championships. Introducing the champion representing Team Hardcore from Michigan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Sal Boone. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. certainly learn from the best and Rhodes has become even better in his time away from WWE but is better good enough these days the winner here joins rare company of double champions Two titles on the line in this contest. Five million dollars. I'll tell you what I'd do, man. Challenge for two titles at the same time, man. Thanks for that insight, Corey. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Stop in the leg. <laughs> Hoist it up. I don't know if Cody can withstand much more of this. Rhodes has to find a way to turn things around. Corey, do you think it's better to try and escape the cage or focus on beating down the competition? Oh, the two go hand in hand, Cole. You can't make it out of the cage without softening up your opposition first. So it's all about balance between those two strategies. Rhodes denies the attack. He saw it coming. Blind the face, is this necessary? Rip it at the eyes. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. He has an answer. 
finisher for Rhodes. Oh, right in there. And Cody puts a stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Cody isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to him. The champ not looking great right now. Honestly, considering this is a cage match, I'm surprised it took this long for the damage to pile up. Oh my goodness, launched into the cage. And Cody Rhodes is failing to offer any resistance here. Yeah, Cody's having trouble fighting back. there and that might be the start of the momentum swing Cody needed but Cody has to push now while the windows open counter upon counter great minds thinking alike Cody retaliates Rhodes from the middle rope big four and he's keeping the pressure on he's got that determined look now that's not right. Oh, what a stop. Will it be? I think so. Champ with a media kick out there. How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? And that holds Cody back. Yeah, he's getting some newly determined focus. Straight impact on the throat. Making the climb up the cage. 
Here he goes. And now he's made it to the top of the cage. Don't do it! Oh my God! For the win! Two! No, he gets the shoulder up. Almost inhuman at this point. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there anything left? And at this juncture, there has to be some consideration into ringing the bell. I hate to see any match called off, but you've got to protect an athlete from himself sometimes. He avoids the damage. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Uh-oh. Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. And he begins his ascent up the cage wall. champion had this well in hand but the new champ had other plans it just goes to show you anything can happen in wwe